Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22, and we are back in Buchern, still in April. Checking out our girls here, making sure they're doing okay. Actually, their food, I think we're okay on. Yeah, getting a little bit low. We might make it a couple month or two, so we might have to check them out here in a bit. I forget if I put down, it seems like maybe I put down grass for them and have the the grazing mod enabled. I honestly can't remember if I did that or not. Either way, we want you to have TMR, don't we, girl? Yes, we do. We want you to have TMR. You're a good girl. Yeah. All right. Why don't we head on over and move ahead a month? We've got our bunker silos fermenting. And waiting for those to finish so we can get the, that silage collected. Probably use some of it maybe for food. I think we've got one more bale of silage sitting over there by the barn. Not sure if we have any silage in the barn though. So we are in May, just like that. Oh yeah, cow's food's doing just, just fine, just fine. I think we've got a bale yet, yeah, we do. We've got a bale sitting here. What are you? Lime? Okay. So we've got some lime, we've got some silage. Let's go check on our bunker over here. See how they're doing. Eighty-four percent. All right. So later today, <clears throat> for sure. Tomorrow, April, May. What is May looking like here? Still can't really harvest. <clears throat> excuse me. Can't harvest anything that we have growing quite yet. We'll have to wait for June. Do we have a field of barley sitting there waiting for us? What do we have for crops? So we have, let's see, barley. We do. We've got one and six. Look like we have barley going on. And then 10, I think, is the field that we bought later. Is it not? That looks like that's canola. Oh, we've got five over here. That's barley as well. Wow. So we've got one, five, and six barley and 10 canola. All right. And we've got some silage fermenting. Cows are doing well. That's doing well. <laughs> oh, man. I was giving this some thought. You know, I mean, I think bang for the buck, this thing is it's a good value. It may not fit every farm. I get that if, uh, you know, I mean, it's I, it's not it's not American. If you're on an American farm, I doubt it's certainly not Canadian either. North American, probably not North American at all, is it? Rostelmash. What? What is? Where is Rostelmash? Is that a? Is that Dutch? Thought I looked that up one time. Hmm. Oh. Girls are eating. Excellent. Excellent. Let's check our contact contracts, sorry, real quick. We could check our contacts too if we wanted to. So we still have a weeding con contract. I, mean, I almost said it again. <laughs> Convinced myself that it's a contact. Um a weeding contract on field four, but I don't think we need to bother with that. I think we are to a point where we can just keep moving forward, forward, forward. Let me look at my time adjustment mod here. And let's just keep the day moving onwards and upward. Basically, just getting to a point where these have fermented. So we have something to do there. Let's bump this down for a sec. I always accidentally hit my hit the map mod boy my fingers are not working today i'm hitting i'm hitting fps counter i'm hitting everything but what i wanted 92 percent out of curiosity still the same weeding contract well let's move forward some more let's get to uh 
somewhere in this time frame here. 100% perfect. 100% perfect. Really? Now, I've got a mod for contracts, and this thing has been... Oh, I wonder if that is... Oh, engine starter, unknown action name, axis height. Oh, I think that... Okay, so, let me tell you what happened before I started recording. I hopped into our Rostelmash uh, dozer here, and I could not get it to go forward in a, in a forward gear. Even if it showed that it was in a forward gear... Oh, doesn't that sound like a chainsaw? <laughs> Hold on a second. Doesn't that kind of sound... Is that air? I love the sounds of this thing. I would, that sounded almost like air, doesn't it? Let's start it up again here. <laughs> that almost, I didn't notice that before, pay attention, but that sounds a lot like a two-stroke engine starting on a chainsaw. Interesting. So anyways, I couldn't get it to go forward. I could do rewind, or rewind, reverse, but not forward. And I'm wondering now... And I'm looking at all these errors here in the uh, in the console, and it's kind of making me wonder if the engine start mod warning engine starter because I do have a mod for easy engine start. Hmm. Anyways, she's working now. I just reset it. Is all I did to get it working correctly again. As I just went in and reset the. Uh, reset the dozer and uh, started working okay. Let's do some unwrapping. Let's do some unwrapping. I think last time I had the same problem. It wouldn't unwrap in the middle. It would unwrap on the ends, but not the middle. Anybody know why that is? Is that just something with this map, or what's the dealio? That's weird. It unwraps as you start to collect it, but it won't fully unwrap on its own. Okay. So I'm going to set a store delivery point. And the last time we did this, I thought it went really, really well with the tool that we used. Uh, seems like, was it in belt system? Yeah, this lizard forage pickup tool now we could grab uh, you know by all means you could grab a belt something like this to do it a shovel uh forks i mean there's a lot of different ways to do it but for efficiency sake uh ease and efficiency this thing seems to really do the job and quite frankly for that amount of money to lease it um isn't bad because you make because you make decent money on silage. So we're just gonna do that again. We're gonna go ahead and lease the same tool. I kind of wish it worked on you, buddy. You know, I do. <laughs> now that's gonna crack me up every time I start it. I'm gonna think somebody's pull starting this bulldozer. All right, let's uh, just out of curiosity. see some grass there on the end that didn't quite make it. Interesting. I guess you can't blend them. So now if I do this... Oh, I know. You got a lot there. Yeah, she'll uncover now, won't she? Not backwards. OK. 
Okay. Let's see here what happens when we drive on this one. I think she'll uncover. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe that's just the way the game is. Is it... Is it is, I guess maybe it just uncovers as you go. I can't remember on another map if I had this same... this yeah interesting I just can't remember if that's the way it was yeah okay well she'll unwrap as you go I guess maybe that's the way it is I honestly just can't remember that being that way but let's get you out of the way Mr. Dozer And we're going to need something to run this. I think we can use our Massey here. Actually, that's the 6718. What are you? Yeah, okay. We'll use this guy here. He's in here already anyways. We're going to need a trailer. So we're here anyways. We might as well pick it up. I do need to drop off our weight. So let's just pop our weight off over here. There we go. Forgot to do that last time. And <clears throat> that, um, that pickup, the forage pickup, did not like that at all. So happy Monday. Forgot to mention that. Hope everybody had a really good weekend. Hope it was relaxing. I know for me it was very nice. I actually ended up, um, I did catch up on some sleep. Just checking this thing out real quick. I did catch up on some sleep and, of all things, got into watching um, some, Aven <laughs> some Avengers. That was kind of odd. I don't know why that struck me as something to do. But, uh, I started watching... I don't know which Avengers movie I started watching. You know, I think it might have been the first one. And then I just... It's been a long time since I watched those. Let's unfold you. Fire you up. And I just started going to town watching one after the other I actually only got through I think two of them if I'm being honest can open that thing what does this do oh it's the windows on the what is that is that the door huh I'm doing my right mouse button and I'm not seeing what it's adjusting. Oh, maybe it is on the tractor. Yeah, okay, so it's the rear window. Okay, I gotcha. I'm just being weird. All right. Yeah, I really like this process. I find this, I mean, if I'm on, if I'm being honest, I'd probably, um, I think if I'm on another map where, like, I'm doing silage on a regular basis and stuff and just kind of making it more of an American, Canadian, I don't know, maybe it's not even a North American thing. Maybe it's more of a, um, I don't know, are, are these things, I'm assuming these things are legit, right? These machines? I have to assume they are? I'll have to look on the YouTube and see what they're like in real life because I'm assuming they they do exist in real life wonder how many farmers use those though be curious to see so we need to look and find out 
what we're going to do with this silage, don't we? I know we just, I think we just want to sell most of it, if I'm being honest. I think that was kind of the idea here. Um, and I know it's not, oh, it's really not the best time. Yeah, so high, is, uh, high average 342. I mean, we could go sell at the biogas plant for 300. Yeah. I think I need to lift that thing. She's down. Whoa, wasn't paying attention. Sorry, don't want to run into you, my friend. I'll tell you something else we could do is not get lost. I think our biogas plant's over this way. Um, we could just fill up a couple trailers and do the follow me again like we did the other time. What was that for? Was it straw or grass we were selling? And we did the follow me? But the biogas plant... Oh, 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 oh. I, that's not... That's not where I want to go, is it? Oh, this is not going to end up well at all. I do not want to reverse. Oh, Brad, 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 Brad. You have not thought this through. Hit my trailer. There's a thousand dollars worth of damage. Couple, probably a broken axle. A bent, <laughs> a bent rim. Where, what am I looking at? What? Why did I think that was the biogas plants way over? I don't know. I don't know. And now I'm just absolutely trashing. What is this? Our neighbors? What is this? Is this not potatoes? What? What? What am I looking at here? Owned by... Oh, okay. So, yeah, this potatoes. Who do I need to apologize to? Heidi? Heidi? Really sorry about this. This was not my intention <laughs> to go cutting across your potato crop. Oh, that's my bad. That's my bad. Nothing like just getting lost on a... What? At best, a half-size map? Okay. Where do we need to sell? We can sell here. I swear if I... Oh, no. Do we need to be able to chuck it into that thing? This may not have... Does it have a dumper for... I don't think it's going to let us do that. I think we have to get it... Yeah, I know better than that. Can we sell there? I don't think so. I don't know. Let's take a look. I don't think this is for silage. My plans have gone south. Nope, that's not for silage. I don't think we can sell. That's for, uh, that's a slurry sell point, right? I don't think we're going to be able to sell it this way. I mean, we do have some options. Well, we can sell it someplace else. That's the easiest option. But we could stick it in our... We could stick it in our storage barn. Um, we could stick it in our storage barn and convert it to bales. But that seems really cheaty to me. Because we didn't bale it. For the very purpose of not having to do baling. I know, this has got to be slurry. Yeah. Okay. Where's our where's our um, backup for silage? So biogas, you're out. The wholesale. Gotcha. Well, I guess we're gonna sell at the wholesale. I mean, it's not far off cash wise. Just as easy to get to. Best plan, best laid plans. That's what, <clears throat> that's what I get. 
so we'll do it this way. As long as I can make that corner with this forage thing on the front. You are you are gonna take this here, right? Am I am I being stupid about this or start overloading? I don't like this. Why am I Oh there we go. Okay. I'm expecting it to say, you know, to tell me it's okay to drop it off, but I wonder if it's because I wasn't didn't have the trailer selected maybe? And we got a little bit of an envir environmental score bump on top of the almost 10 grand we made on that. So that's not bad. And it's not even really in season at the moment. Oh, there goes that sign. <laughs> Didn't need that one. <laughs> That'll be a couple hundred bucks off the top right there. All right, Heidi, I'm going to... I'm going to stay off your field. I'm going to be nice and stay off everybody's field. We can just take this road straight around to the farm anyways. So, oh, goodness, goodness. So we are in the last days of Boochern. I'm feeling it. Um, I've been looking at a couple other maps. A lot of people are playing um, Griffin, Indiana. Looks like a nice map. I took a look at that the other day. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards a North American map. There is an Ontario map that I thought looked decent. Um, Iowa Plains map looks pretty good. Brad, what are you doing? Iowa Plains map looks pretty good. Something like that. I was even thinking like, um... thought I heard rumor that the, my, uh, the map author for what is it? Uh, Frankenmuth is going to be coming out with a 4X map. I believe. And I just turned on the wrong tool. We don't want you turned on. We want the front. We want the front lowered and turned on. Thank you. And I did play Frankenmuth some. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a... Uh, um, this is not even where I really want to be, if I'm being honest, because getting in and out of here is not my favorite thing. I kind of wanted to come in the other way. But I think we'll be alright if we can clean this up a little bit. We might as well just go for it at this point. But yeah, I enjoyed Frankenmuth. I thought Frankenmuth was a fun map. Um, what you doing? Can you unload for me there? No? Not really. It's about 6%, and I think some of that is still sitting in the forage pickup, if I'm not mistaken, because we're not picking up any more. There we go. Okay. So we can turn that off. Raise our head. Actually pick the right gear. Sneak around here. And we can fold our pipe. And we can get out of here. And we can... Oh! Come on, baby. Yeah, I'm sorry I did that. Gotta, gotta remind myself to move that wood later. So yeah, I enjoyed Frankenmuth. Um... But I heard he is going to do a 4X on Frankenmuth, which it'll be interesting to see if um, he just increases size or adds some other uniqueness to it. I don't know. We do own this field. We probably shouldn't be driving over our own. What 
Springs at Barley Field, but we'll do some cuts. I think the other one I was looking at, uh, but I've played it before. In fact, I played it quite a bit, I think in 17 even. And I think it's Green... I always get them confused. Green River, Green Valley. Um, I played that map quite a lot, so I'm not sure if I want to go back to it yet or not. But it is a fun map. I remember it being a lot of fun. I put a lot of hours onto that map. <clears throat> Then, of course, there's... That's why I didn't get it, because my trailer wasn't selected. I was curious to see why I didn't get the dump sign there, but... Yeah, we're good. Uh, Sosnovka, I, I looked at that. I remember uh, playing that even a lot, and uh, whoever revised that for 22 did a nice job. Um, it is quite accurate, from what at least from what I can remember. It's quite accurate. Um... Another one I was strongly considering, and I'm still not... It's not out of the running yet, is uh, Westbridge Hills. The, um, the remake of Westbridge Hills. I missed that map. I really, really, really enjoyed that map. Um, boy, Westbridge Hills was back in 2013, back in the Xbox... Um, 360 days? I th it wasn't that its first appearance? And then it got a revised appearance, if I remember right, correct me if I'm wrong, in 15 from Giants. And then um, from there, it, uh, it started coming out as uh, map modders or map authors revised it and brought it to us again for, for the other versions of Farm Sim. But I really like Westbridge Hills, and I think Westbridge Hills would be a uh, a good map for my plans for what I want to do with the map. As far as um, cow, both dairy and beef cattle, I think it'd be a good animal farm all around. There's a lot of room there as well for uh, doing things like if I want to do potatoes and do some potato production. Oh, need to get that guy out there. Lower you, turn you on. Oh no, haha, <laughs> that's funny. All right, well I guess we picked up that grass. I think it'll just, yeah, it just turns it into insto silage for us. Let's get, that's kind of interesting. I wonder how much Again, it's one of those things I, I need to do a little testing on is what are you allowed? Let me see if it'll pick this up over here. Oh, yeah. It's like, what are you allowed? How much are you allowed? How much grass? Sorry, I'm not saying this very well. My apologies. How much grass, regular grass, could you put in this trailer? Before, what did I just find out? Oh, is it because there's grass in there? No. It shows silage. Oh, you know what? I wonder if there's... That doesn't make any sense though, right? Look what it's showing in the top, which is the... Cool. So this is interesting. So if I unload you, you're still going to have it. I wonder if I'm going to have to empty it. You guys see what I'm seeing? So on the bottom right there where it shows what's in each thing, the wagon or the trailer shows silage, right? <laughs> Cow's telling me how it is. And in the top, and I always get that symbol messed up in my head. I want to make sure I got that right. Let's see here. It is 
and I know it's super obvious. Uh, it's clearly not obvious to me because my brain has completely fallen asleep on what that's showing. That's interesting, though, because that's a silage symbol, but what is that symbol? Isn't that like, um... Is that... That's not TMR or something, is it? Hmm. Let's fire the forage pickup again. It's not letting me pick up any more forage. And I'm wondering if it's because... I picked up that grass that was over there. But that's kind of weird, though, because it didn't seem to care before. Okay, so what we can do... Let me turn that off. This might be a little bit weird. But if I go to fill vehicle and I empty it... So now it's emptied. Now we should be able to pick up more silage now, right? Yeah. That's weird. It's like the front, the forage pickup um, had a different product in it. So it wouldn't dump it, but I was able to put grass, pick up grass earlier. Hmm. All right. I'll probably watch the re the replay and be like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. All right, let's back on out of here. Don't hit the barn, Brad. And we are not quite at a hunt. Oh, my gosh, if I... I'm looking at, man, this is not my driving day. Uh, I'm about ready to hit stop recording and start over again, but hey, why bother? I'm sure you all have had your days of, well, maybe not as quite this bad, but I'm having a hard time staying focused on where I'm going. I'm, I'm looking down at what's in the trailer and anything other than driving kind of tells you why they probably don't let me um, work around large machinery. I was going to try and make that corner and go street ride, but I guess not. Well, we'll do one more dump here and probably call this a boot churn episode. What a weird, it feels like a weird episode. It feels like it's been a weird episode. Like, it never really got off and, <laughs> off and running very well. Maybe because I've been hitting just about everything I can. But it seems weird to me because I picked up, because I had silage in the trailer. I picked up some grass. It dumped it in the trailer. And then I tried to pick up that other grass. And it's like it said, nope, I let you the first time. But the second time, I'm not going to let you. But I still want to test it and see how much of one product you can have in there before it, so, you know what I'm saying? So it converts it. It does the same thing with balers too. If you pick up a little bit of grass in a baler, like let's say maybe 10% of the bale is grass, and then you hit, then you start doing silage, it'll just automatically convert that 10% grass to silage. But I need to do some testing on that to see how far... It, I thought it used to be a percentage before it wouldn't convert it for you. Where it was just like, this is the wrong... Um, this is the wrong product. You can't put any more in here, you know? So maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe make a video on it and just see. I know I've asked this before. I remember... I, when I did my, oh, it feels like it was a long time ago. I did a video on, I forget what map it was on, but um, how much money would you make if you did every field silage? If you just silaged every, all grass on the map, made it silage, how much money would you make? And, um, and it was a good chunk of change, by the way, millions on whatever this map was. And it wasn't, a, I think it was a little bit smaller map too. I don't think it was a full size um, map. It might not as small as Boucherne. I think it was bigger than Boucherne, but smaller than, you know, than a standard 2x map. I guess you would say. All right. 
let's get back into the farm. I'm actually going to make every effort in the world this time to not hit... The one thing I haven't hit this episode is this fuel tank, and that would be good to avoid. Yep. Glad to miss that one. Alright, so do we have... Let's see here. Just for fun, before we get out of here. Oh, look at that. See that? Did you see that grass that it just chucked in there? Right? And that's not the sick... That's not the grass... Oh, you know, is that... That's not chaff, is it? Is that the symbol for chaff? I don't think so. Maybe it is. Maybe that is the symbol for chaff. How would I know? How would I know? Do they show symbols anyplace else? See, this is where I wish the game would. And I don't know if they're going to be able to ever do this. And I've wanted it. I've actually wanted this feature since... 15 when I first started playing on the um, PC I really think they need to be able to sorry guys I know I'm clicking around a lot here I'm just trying to think of what I want to say and show you but like you can get symbols here like this covers most of them but there are still symbols in the game that aren't on the prices list and it would be nice either to have Another area where you can go and look up all of these icons or some kind of a hover over, but I don't know how they would do that offhand, but I've wanted that kind of thing for a long time in Farm Sim where, because there are a lot, and as, and as the products grow and grow and grow and grow, I mean, we're, we're getting to the point uh, where... Even on mod maps, you know, they add even more. And I just think it'd be super handy to have a way to be able to an index or something or up. But I think it'd be nice just to be able to take your mouse and hover over the symbol and have it do a little pop-up for you and say, yep, you know, this is grass, this is silage, this is straw, this is so-and-so. Now I'm looking at 94% down there. And it's still dumping. It's like getting to 100%. Yeah, I don't know. Let's try going over here. No. I don't think it matters if I lift it up. Oh, yeah, it did a little bit. Of course, am I stuck now? Well, if I get stuck, I am... Yeah, it's still jumping. It's still grabbing some. Interesting. It's like you really got to work to get that last little bit out of there. Oh, jackknife. All right. Let's get this thing turned around. Fire you off. Tuck you in. Shut you down. Let's hop out here for a sec. So we're going to make some decent cash out of this. I've always thought silage was one of the better money makers in the game for I mean it's it's not a lot of work I mean let's face it I mean grass is gonna grow it's all over a map regardless of whether or not you use meadow grass or actual field grass and uh, well that's interesting I just noticed that too my pickups down I must have put that down when I was fat fingering the keyboard earlier that would explain maybe why it wasn't driving as <laughs> I wasn't driving quite as good. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad I bring you guys along 
for my <laughs> for my stupidness. And then there's things like this where I'm just running over, you know, running over things on the farm for no apparent reason. Like this thing didn't has never done anything to me. It's never made me mad. It's never it's never not been there for me. It's it's always been there. It's always been right there for me. But yet somehow or other I decided that I was gonna I was gonna wreck it. All right. So that's it for uh, man, it just feels like a weird episode, but I'm going to call it good for boot churn for Monday. Maybe that's what it is. It's a case of the Mondays. Ah, <sighs> yeah. I do appreciate y'all coming along and watching the video, though. It, I do appreciate that. And putting up with me for stuff like this, because this has been weird. I'm going to go ahead and probably finish up the silage sale stuff. And uh, when we get back on boot churn Wednesday... Uh, let's see what's going on then. Maybe we'll fast forward another month and get to harvesting and maybe we'll wrap up, uh, maybe we'll wrap up this map, uh, this week. We'll see how things go, but, uh, thanks again. Uh, Tuesday, uh, 11, 11 a.m. Eastern Kubota farm. Hopefully I'll have my brain in gear a little bit more for that, but I'll see you guys soon. You guys take care of each other. Take care of yourselves and I will definitely see you soon.